all comes against Israel, they're not going to come in jet planes. They're going to be on foot. They're going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat like it was in the old days, if I read my Bible right. So they, if they still had their nuclear warheads on, they'd have to send one over and hit destroy it. Of course, they'd destroy everything over there so they wouldn't win nothing. Wouldn't leave nothing but a wasteland. But anyway, they all know that. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. You know what? Famine is starvation, and we've got it now, and we've had it for a long, long time. They've been children going to bed crying for something to eat in this country, and this is a richest nation, nation that owners, I guess, and hits a shine. And our government will come up with money to feed a bunch of invaders to try to get them in to get their votes. They will. And let our children go hungry some of them. It's awful. It makes me feel guilty when I throw food off my table out in the backyard because I throw away enough to feed a couple of kids, I'd say. Feeding the coyotes. And there'll be pestilences. You know what that is. You know this flesh-eating disease they got going around now? You remember MRSA? Things that they ain't got no control of. That bunch that's invading our country is bringing diseases back in here on us that we had abolished 50 years ago. And now they've grown so accustomed to our antibiotics, they won't do nothing to it. They don't hurt it. So, pestilences, diseases, things that really bother you, make you sick. Earthquakes in diverse places, in different places. That means earthquakes in places where they, it's not normal to have earthquakes. I was sitting there and said, it's been how many years? Mm -hmm. Not very many years ago. Three or four or five. I was laying on my couch down at the house watching TV. Maggie, was, when she was real sick, I had to stay close to her. And I thought a tree fell and hit my house. I found out later it was a tremor, an earth tremor through that St. Madrid fault that goes from Illinois, I think, all the way down to the coast, through here. That's the first time I ever felt anything close to an earthquake, and it scared me. I got up, went out, and walked all the way around the house, nothing that hit the house, but I turned it, went back in, and brought a thing on the TV screen that said there was a tremor went through the, down the east. So that's what it was. But anyway, then, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. Now, what, here, right here's where he's talking about what they're going to do to Christians when the Antichrist sets up his right. They're going to deliver them up. They're going to slaughter them. I'm glad I'm going to be gone. And they shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. They'll hate anybody that, that will not take the mark of the beast. This Bible says daddies and mothers will turn against their children. The children will turn against their parents. They'll go to this thing that set himself up as God, and they'll say, my children won't listen to me. I've tried my best to get them to come to you, but they won't listen to me. And they'll get them, that bunch, sending out armies after their own children. They'll think they're doing God a favor. It'll happen. And they're worshiping the devil when they're doing it. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. There'll be no love. That's what the Bible says when Paul's talking to Timothy. He said in the last day, dangerous times will come. Perilous times, but that's what it means. Dangerous times. said men shall be lovers of their own selves, proud, blasphemers, boasters, unthankful, unholy, disobedient to parents, without natural affection. Right there is where the abortion comes in. They hate but one love greater than a mother's love for her child. And that's the love God's got for his children. Jesus. That's, that's the only love that is greater than a mother's love. But mothers is going out into the slaughterhouses they call clinics and having them killed. Well, you know, I, they don't do no good to harp on that, you know. 
that the politicians are for it. A lot of them. If God don't judge this country for things like that, and this bunch of perverts that don't know what bathroom to use, if God don't judge that, he'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> you know that? And he ain't in the apologizing business. Now this, this thing, I, I know it's not enough that we just don't believe in it, but if people don't speak out against it, he's over, it's going to get worse. It'll probably get worse anyway, but bless God, I'll never condone it. I won't condone it. <clears throat> That's why my grandkids, when they bring their boyfriends home or girlfriends home, they go to a motel. They don't go to my house. They come visit me in the daytime. I'll put up that stuff. And they're sure, uh, 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 well, that's all. <laughs> I wouldn't, it wouldn't do for me to be on a police force and go to arrest some pervert that had hurt a little child. I honestly, as the Lord knows my heart, don't believe I'd let him get to a judge. I believe I'd throw a gun on the floor, so I'd pick it down. I'd put him down. I really believe I would now. There's some things, I mean, I don't like anything, but there's some things, boy, that really gets my God. <laughs> and, the, and that society would condone some of the stuff that society does. The world will wax worse and worse, but God's children's getting closer home. Woo you, you bear that in mind. Brother, the worse it gets out there, the brighter heaven shines. I had a blood vessel broke behind my eye one time. My left eye never was no good. And I couldn't hardly see a thing. Well, what I've done, I bought one of these sure things to make myself pretty. <laughs> had big rubber bands on it. It, it, it exercise really. <laughs> but I laid down on that thing. I was going to start out on the high end. I put three or four big old bands on it. I laid down on it and tried to push it up and raise it up at the same time. And a blood vessel broke by my eye. <laughs> Next morning, buddy, I couldn't hardly see nothing. The white was red. So I went to eye specialist, and he said, i, I got to tell you, sir. I said, sometimes it don't come back. But he said, we, if the body uses up that blood, you know, it'll, your vision might clear up. All right. So I went outside that doctor's office, and there's a lower my wet, and so I looked around, and he had big letters that big, and I could see them on the side of his building. And I said, Lord, while you're sure you open the blinded eyes. And I know if you can do it for them, you can do it for me. I said, I have. I told that eye specialist, I said, man, I'm a preacher. I got to read my Bible. And I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. He said, we, if your body don't use it up, we'll, we'll try surgery and see if we can get it out of there. It was, it was blocking the optic nerve behind my eye. Well, I went on to the house, and this was early in the week. By Sunday, I mean before Sunday now, I could look at a TV screen, I could see the light. But I couldn't tell you who was on it. <laughs> that's, that's as bad as it was. I'd drive to work, and I'm scared to death, because I always thought every time I passed the road, somebody was going to pull out. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see. It. And if I got to a red light, I about had to watch the traffic. If they win, I win. <laughs> if they stop, I stop. But now, the next, that, sun, that next Sunday, now listen, I'm telling you, that next Sunday, I got up in church and I told them, I said, I might have to try to preach from memory here this morning. I opened up my Bible, and believe it or not, I could read my Bible. I couldn't read a newspaper headline, but I could read that Bible. I absolutely, I missed a few words, of course, that I could make it out. Now, I'm telling you, boy, God, He can do anything. And I went back to that eye specialist that next week, and he looked in there, and, oh, man, yeah, that's all right. I said, that your body's using that blood up real fast. <laughs> I said, yeah, God's taking care of this thing for me. That's what's happening. And He did, thank God. 
but he he could bring it back to it. Tell him, you done it for them. You can do it for me. Jesus said, if you believe, all things are possible to him that believes. And even though I worry about my boy, and I worry about my church, and I worry about this, that, and the other, even though I do worry, I still know God's got everything in control. Yes. And he's going to keep it in control. Yes. He ain't climbing down off that throne for no Mr. Man. No, sir. It's going to work out just like God says it is. Well, he says here, 